Greetings children. This video lesson is to find out the poetic devices used in an elementary school classroom in a slum. It is for class 12th CBC students. It is helpful to find out the right option for MCQs. So this much poetic devices or literary devices literary devices used in an elementary school classroom like repetition simile metaphor synecdoche metronymy personification alliteration police and button apostrophe enjambment etc let us check each of these poetic devices from the poem an elementary school classroom in a slum first poetic device is repetition so what is this repetition repetition of same words in a line this is the simplest technique to find out repetition technique or repetition poetic device same words repeating in a line look at here far far the world world so these phrases are examples for the poetic device of repetition look at here again far far break break repetition of the same word next simile simile means comparing things using like or as it's a poetic device used to compare two things using the linker like or as let us check the similes in the poem look at the line children's faces like rootless weeds here the children's faces are compared with the rootless weeds so it is compared with the link word of like so we can definitely say that this is a simile let us check other similes used in the same poem spectacles of steel with a mended glass like bottle bits on stones so here also the linking word of like is used so simile is the poetic device the mended glass or spectacles specs like the bottle bits third place where simile is used is this window that shut upon their lives like catacombs these windows and that is compared with when it is shut upon them it is compared with the catacombs the graveyards so here also the same poetic device of simile used let us move on to the next poetic device alliteration what is alliteration repetition of consonant sounds not the vowel sound if vowel sound is repeat, repeated assonance assonance is the poetic device but here it is consonant sound repetition of consonant sound in the same line that is alliteration let us check the alliteration in the poem look at here far far from the repetition of f sound so that is a repetition than this to to here also repetition world world repetition more you can find far far from surely shakespeare that is also alliteration ships and sun same sound from folk 
by bonds bottle bits lives like break break all these are examples for alliteration simply this phrase can be quoted and asked you what is the poetic device used there so remember it alliteration next is personification personification means human characteristics are attributed to non human things that is personification some human characteristics that will be attributed to non human things it may be a thing or animal let us check civilized dome riding all cities riding is a human quality that quality is attributed to this non human or inanimate thing it is called personification now let us move to the next poetic device synecdoche synecdoche means a part is put for the whole when a part is put for the whole we call it synecdoche for example his hands in the murder here hands means his involvement hands stands for the whole person so that is a synecdoche look at the his eyes live in a dream here his eyes actually stands for he himself it is not his eyes that dreams but he himself dreams so synecdoche is the poetic device or literary device used here remember it now let us check another poetic device of metonymy the name of one thing to represent something related to it this is metonymy the name of one thing to represent something related to it let us check the metonyms look avoiding the world its world look at this this is the name of the world but the whole world does not mean here here is the privileged privileged people for the privileged people the open handed map shows their world not the entire people they excluded this slum children so this word represents only a particular class a privileged class so the poetic device of metonymy is used here look at another example shakespeare is wicked here the word shakespeare denotes his works shakespeare's works so the poetic device of metonymy we can see here because this whole represents not shakespeare as a whole but his works only his works are wicked for these children that is what the poem says us look at another one gold sands here gold is for the color of this sands it is golden in color this gold stands for sun rise so sun rise is represented with gold so here also the yellowish color of the sun attributed to sands so we can say that here also used the arctic device of poetic device of metonymy now metaphor so many places in the poem this metaphor is used so let us check what is this metaphor 
A metaphor is a kind of simile, but without using like or as. It's an object or activity or idea that is used as a symbol of something else. It symbolizes something else, not exactly the object or activity or idea. Let us check the main metaphors used in the poem. Look at that. The pepper seeming boy. Here, the pepper seeming boy means the weak health of the boy. The weak health of the boy. Health of the boy. Not exactly the pepper seeming boy. So, the pepper seeming boy is a metaphor. The weakness of his body is represented through the pepper seeming. Then, the standard unlucky hair of twisted bones. This is another metaphor used in the poem. The standard unlucky hair of twisted bones. This symbolizes the inherited disease of his parents. So, this symbol also can be treated as a metaphor. Let us check other metaphors. The narrow street is sealed in with a lead sky. This is at another metaphor. Because this narrow street is sealed in with a lead sky symbolizes the covered future of these slum children. Then stars of words. This is also a metaphor because these children are deprived of good education. So this stars of words stands for a quality education. Then crammed holes, another metaphor. It represents the slum houses. That is the crammed holes. Then slag heap. Slag heap here means the weak and bony bodies of these children. Then foggy slum. It is another metaphor. Foggy slum represents here the children's world is without any hope, without any future. That is foggy slum. Then like catacombs. Catacombs or graveyards represents the pathetic condition of these children. The slum children, their houses, they are living in such a bad condition. Now let us move on to the next poetic device. Next is apostrophe. Apostrophe means addressing an imaginary audience. Yes, in this poem we can see an apostrophe. The poetic device of apostrophe. Look at this. Break, oh break open, till they break the town. Here, the poet invokes the children to break open. So, the children here are the imaginary audience. So the poetic device of apostrophe is used here. Apostrophe is used here. Now yet another police in the ten. This is multiple repetition of the same conjunction like and but if. If any of these conjunctions repeated in a line, it is known as police in the ten. Look at that. With the ships and sun and the repetition of the conjunction and. So it is called police in the ten. Now, enjambment. Part of it is added to the former to get the meaning. So that is called enjambment. Look at this. For lives that slightly turn in their cramped holes, 
from fog to endless night. To get the complete meaning, we have to combine these two lines. So, such usages is known as enjambment. So, these are the poetic devices used in the elementary school classroom in Islam. For more such informative videos and class videos, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. If you like the video, share it with your friends and thumbs up. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you will share it with your friends.